Now that we have reached 13,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a titanium white octane when the channel reaches 14,000 subscribers. To enter, all you have to do is join the Discord server linked in the description down below and subscribe to the channel. But anyway, good luck to everyone who is entering and let's get into the video. Before we head into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to the brand new sponsor on the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to check out the website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and episode 2 of Trading From Nothing all the way up to the Alpha Cap. Now, we've had a decent start to the series and the support has been crazy already we've got over 2.5k views and it's not even been a full day and i do believe we've hit the like goal as well if we can do that on this video as well that would be amazing but um it's a massive goal i've got no idea how far we're going to be getting in this series and um for episode two you might think when you see the inventory that we've got really far already check out episode one if you haven't already because this probably won't make sense to you um i'll also link it at the end of the video if you uh, do want to check it out but basically what we did was we started off um, with 7.5k now uh, these credits came from the fennec set which i've just finished uh, nothing to something to so we're sort of doing a continuation just because it gives me a, a slight head start for the alpha cap because it's just such a big goal but anyway like i said i hope you do enjoy also thank you so much for 14,000 subscribers that is amazing uh, you may have seen the intro hasn't changed yet as soon as this video goes up i'm going to start the white octane giveaway in my discord server and um after a week which is how long the giveaway is going to be going on for um by the end of the week the winner gets chosen uh, the winner will also get the white octane um all platforms by the way i just thought i'd mention that now and then um after that we'll get a new intro sorted but um there won't be a new intro for 15k for a couple of weeks hopefully um you do understand that sorry for the long intro just wanted to explain a couple of things but anyway we're gonna hop straight into the first trade of the video okay so hopping into the first trade of the video i'm gonna have to do uh, quite a bit of explaining on this one because there are so many items in here basically both of the rares really don't sell so i'm just going to be archiving those and not really uh, uh trying to sell them on just because they're so hard to sell not worth that much um either and then the asic and the pixel fire at the end they're also going to be archived i can't be bothered to sell those but um the grip strides are 400 credits anodized pearls about 100 so that's 500 the non-crate exotic in there will take it up to 620 non-crate very rare 40 each so 700 credits in total in items for the fennec really not bad whatsoever four to five hundred in value you so um we've absolutely smashed that first trade because i was only really looking for 400 credits for it anyway now this trade as well pretty decent now at the time i do believe the sky blue octane was 1.3k each so that takes it up to 5.2k for the sky blue octanes 1k for the lime so we're paying um uh well 5.7k uh basically for 6.2k worth of octanes and also i'll be trying to sell the sky blue octanes for mid value just because octanes are really high in demand so i should be able to find that mid value and then get maybe around 800 credits profit from that trade which is really good but it will take time to sell and um, they're a big portion of the inventory, so I'm, I really need to get those gone. And uh, we do also sell on the orange grip strides, which are worth 400, and a non crate very rare, which is 440 credits. And we pick up a crimson standard, which is worth 600 minimum value. So we're underpaying by 160 credits, but the grips are also a little bit hard to sell. So um, getting those gone and making profit is a big dub. And we'll try and sell these standard on for the minimum value as well, just because the market is really dead right now. So it's not that easy at all um to make uh, profit or buy items for under minimum value or uh, just selling in general is so hard right now so um yeah it's not looking too great so this series is going to be more tougher uh, than it would maybe a couple months ago so it is, it's going to be a long road it's going to take ages but um i'm going to try my best and we do pick up a 20xx for an anodized pearl which is such a good trade um anodized pearl is basically worth one third of the price um and 20xx isn't even that hard to sell i'm always say uh, i'm always saying don't pick up cheap black markets because they're really hard to sell but 20xx is a little bit different quite easy to sell and um worth a decent amount i mean it worth it used to be worth 1k so 
Um, nowhere near what it used to be worth because it's 300 credits right now, but still a decent amount. Black markets are in the mud right now. They're really hard to sell. So 20XX is still holding up, still going strong. Um, so not too bad. We do also sell on our non-crates here just to clear a bit of space in the inventory and also get some decent credits going. So we sell them on for 40 each, I do believe. Um, yeah, 240 credits. That will be two, uh, that will be 40 each. Um, on Xbox, try and get 40 credits each for non-crate very rares, 40 credits each for non-crate imports. Um, I don't trade with rares, I don't know how much they're going for. Exotics, I try and get 120 each as well. So uh, if you buy them for below those prices, you should be able to sell them for the prices that I've just mentioned and make yourself some decent profit. We're also selling on one of the Skyblock tins right here and we are getting 1,300 credits. So I know I said I was trying to get 1.4k, I think I do later on for some of the others, but I was just trying to get some some quick credits get them gone move on and um yeah I mean, now we got some credits to buy some other items i'm not too desperate for credits anymore but even getting that gone selling it for minimum price i will get profit from the original trade where we bought the four octanes or the five octanes four of them sky blue and one of them lime we also managed to sell on our crimson standard getting pretty easy credits and i'm going to use these credits to get more profit but we just get a minimum value 600 credits really not bothered about getting anything more because standards aren't that easy to sell maybe a black or white one i might try and go for the mid um value i'd never go for max value on anything but um yeah we're also going to be selling on both octanes here which is good um so we're selling two items together which is going to save us time and um hopefully get us to the alpha cap a little bit quicker because uh i'm aiming to do it in under six months so hopefully that is a possible i do believe in real time i'm sitting around sixteen thousand credits inventory i'm trading every day but um it's tough i don't know if i'm going to be able to do daily uploads um every well i'm definitely not going to be uh, able to do daily uploads until we finish the series but um, I'm going to try my hardest to get uh, at least a couple of episodes out a week just so that the progress keeps on going. And um, I might have a few breaks in this series as well just because it's so long. Um, so I might have to maybe take a week off at one point just because trading does get really boring if you're doing it all the time. But inventory is looking very solid right now. We, we don't have too many items, which is good. Um, if you've got too many items, it becomes a lot harder to manage your inventory. But there's also some really easy items to sell. Like the 20XX, I count as pretty easy in today's market. The non-crate exotic will be super easy. Non-crate import will be easy as well. And then the sky blue octane and the lime octane, which I'm selling here, will be easy as well. And we do get 1,000 credits for that. Um, I think that's minimum value. I'm not really too bothered um, about getting mid um because there are some octanes that are harder to sell than others i don't think the lime is that easy cobalt gray um orange cheaper ones are really easy to sell um because people are more likely to have a smaller amount of credits if that makes sense um also picking up an interstellar and a forest green standard uh for 900 credits now i do believe interstellar 700 right now i i think it was 800 at the time so uh it would have been a better trade at the time as well forest green standard i think was 300 so at the time about 1.1k underpaying 100 credits each for those items not bad whatsoever um i said it in my last video i'm not too bothered about not making 200 credits profit um, a trade because uh, what I used to do was try and get 200 credits profit a trade just so I was getting a really good amount of profit a day and not trading that much if that makes sense so less trades more profit per trade um, but it's harder to make profit in today's market so even making 100 credits profit a trade I'm happy doing in the last trade you also saw me sell on that interstellar for the 800 credits which was the minimum value at the time because I've never uh, I'd never try and get mid price for an interstellar because um, like I've said the whole video yeah the market's dead market is in the mud but hopefully this series can inspire a few more people to trade and right the profit here is mad um, so line sunburst 1k uh, or 1.1 k minimum value sorry uh purple 1.5 k minimum value they add up to 2.6 k we paid 1.8 now they will be basically impossible to sell but 400 credits profit each when i do eventually sell them they're not taking up that much uh, well they're not taking up that many credits in my inventory i should say um so over time i'll get them sold we got six months so it's perfectly fine uh we'll eventually get them sold and get the 800 credits profit from that trade so not bad whatsoever now this is all uh this is also the last trade of the video selling on a sky block chain and a forest green standard at minimum value this would be 1.6k at the time 
Um, I do believe anyway, if I haven't got the numbers wrong, and we all, uh, we're all also getting 1.6k, so yeah, that should be minimum value, because like I've said, I wouldn't go under the minimum value for this series, um, I'm just focusing on buying decently, uh, decent items that sell, um, so we should never really be in a position where items are too hard to sell, and as you saw at the start of the episode, I did archive the items that I didn't want to bother to sell just because i don't want to put time into selling items even if i list them up on our garage they're just not gonna sell and even if they do it's only an extra 100 credits which i'm really not bothered about in the long run but that is going to be the end of the episode now i really hope you have enjoyed this one please do make sure to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications as we head for 15k now I'm, i said i'm trying to get 15k by the end of the year we've just passed 14k we're getting just over 1000 a month so i'll tell you what Let's try and hit 15k by the end of October, and if the Golden Pumpkins get released, I'll do a 100 opening special for um, Halloween, and also hitting 15k, and making that promise to you right now, that'll probably take me, or it would cost me around 30,000 credits, so big video, and only the people that watch to the end will know that, and also if you have watched this far, please do comment road to 15k down below, just so I see who is watching to the end of the video, but anyway, that is going to be it for me, thank you so much for the insane support on episode 1 and the channel in general, but that is going to be it for me, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, peace out.